Hi, I'm Rebecca Robbins from Robbins Nest Weaving, and welcome to Tuesday's Tips, Tricks, and How-Tos. Today, in our first segment, we're going to talk about knot repairs, how to do them easily and quickly. Okay, so here we have, it's actually not a knot, it's a weird thread being strange, but regardless, we're going to treat it like a knot, because obviously we don't want that in our weaving. So, <clears throat> this is hand dyed, so we always try and dye um, some extra hand dyed that we can use to match up. Uh, pieces when we're dying so I found a little piece that I thought would match it doesn't have to be perfect I mean obviously the it changes all over so we're gonna try and match it up as best we can I'm actually gonna pull it down a little bit so there's no blue okay so I'm going to use a trusty t-pin and I'm just gonna t-pin can you see that and figure eight around the T-pin a couple times. I'm probably overdoing it now. Okay, I'm gonna take the end. I'm gonna take the knot. I'm gonna follow it back through the reed. So through the same dent. And I'm gonna keep that thread. And I'm gonna find its heddle. Okay, double check I've got the right heddle. Yes, I've got the right heddle. Okay, so we're going to go through that heddle. I like to do it looped over. And through. And I'm going to pull it back, making sure it's in the right order. Okay, can you see what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a little chunk of uh, warp. I'm going to go under it, come up grab the other piece so it's kind of like a slip knot and do another slip knot a second time and I'm gonna pull it so it's nice and tight see how tight that is on my finger and slip the extra underneath and that's gonna hold so I'm just gonna keep weaving until I pass it and then we'll come back to the video okay that's about far enough past so I pulled out the knot I make sure I always pull it out on this side so I can find it later I can just reach back without leaving my loom, undo that, and come up here and if you just slide your fingers it just pushes the yarn, the thread that's loose up, and I'm just going to clip it. Done. Knot repair finished. Okay, so we showed you how we did the knot fix on the loom and now we're going to show you what we do at the end. So we've marked here, we've got, this is the tail. And this is the knot itself. You can see it right there. We've pulled it out. And then the other tail is here. So that's what we've got when it comes off the loom. We've already wet finished this so that um, any shrinking has already been done. And now we'll just, it's super easy. We just, off it goes. Off it goes. And off it goes. So there you go, knot repair complete. So we have a second thread that runs supplementary to the first thread and it's going to run the full length here because the other one has a little break now where we cut the original thread there. So if you see any little ends that poke out after you wash, which does happen from time to time when you wash the little ends poke out, generally you can clip it if it's just sticking out a little bit. If it's sticking out a lot you can re-thread it. And We'll show that in another video too. But voila, the whole thing is gone. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment, um, be sure to like it, and subscribe if you're interested in learning more tips, tricks, and how-tos.